Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. In this video, I'm going to be going through question number four from the International A Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P2 um, January 2020 paper. This is a AS paper um, for the International A Level um, as opposed to the UK A Level. Now, question number four gives us this diagram, this graph. And it tells us figure one shows the sketch of a curve with the equation y equals 2x squared plus 7. Okay, so this is the equation of the curve y equals 2x squared plus 7. And it tells us the finite region R shown shaded in figure one is bounded by the curve, the y-axis, and the line with the equation y equals 17. That region there. So here, this line across is a line. If we were to extend it, it would be the line y equals 17. Or it is the line y equals 17. I'm just saying that. That's, oops, what did I do there? That is the line y equals 17 here going across. All right, so now, um, find the exact area of R. Okay, simple little... Instruction, find the area of R. Okay, it's just one part to this question. So we've got to find this area. Now, there's um, a couple of ways we could do it. Um, now, one of the ways, which is the way I'm going to probably use here, is uh, simply to find, to find the area between a line and a curve or between two curves. If we take the equation of those uh, functions and subtract them from each other, if they're both in terms of Y, and find the integral between the limits on the x-axis of where they where you need to find the area between them then um, that will give you the area between them using integration so what we could do here is we could first of all we, what we need to know is we need to know this point here where they intersect okay we need to know the x value of this point here let me say x equals a I need to know what a is so if I integrate with respect to x between 0 and a, we have to find what a is, um, if I integrate with respect to x, the difference between this function and that function, and it's always better to put the one that's higher up first in that area. So in this area where we need to find the area, y equals 17 is above y equals 2x squared plus 7 in that particular area. So I'm going to put 17 before the 2x squared plus 7. And if I integrate that with respect to x, with the limits of 0 and a in there, I will get this area straight away. Very simple. Okay, so our next objective now is to find what a is, where these two intersect. And where they intersect, they're both, you can solve that simultaneously, basically, where they're both equal to each other. Okay, so can I take this down? Well, it doesn't want to all come down together. I'll just write it again down here. Okay, so basically, I need to find the integral between 0 and a, which we have to find, of... Now, if we simplify that, that will be 17 minus 7, which is 10, 10 minus 2x squared. I'm just simplifying that. 17 minus 7 is 10, and minus 2x squared. So you're going to have to integrate 10 minus 2x squared with respect to x between 0 and a. So to find a, we've got to find where they intersect. So 2x squared plus 7 is equal to 17 so 2x squared is equal to 17 minus 7 which is 10 so x is equal to 5 x squared is equal to 5 sorry so x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 5 however this graph as we can see here it says x is greater than or equal to 0 it doesn't continue on this side they've only drawn the positive side and we're only dealing with the positive side so that value of course must be x equals the square root of 5 so on the positive side so this is the square root of 5. Okay, so we have the value of a now. So we only want to worry about the positive square root. So that means now we can replace this a with a 5. With a root 5, sorry. So this is the square root of 5. Now we can integrate this expression here. Now to integrate an expression like this, we basically, first of all, once we started integrating, we changed the integral sign for a square bracket. 
Now, when you have a constant and you integrate it, it just gains, gains an x. Okay, because before it was x to the power of 0, you added 1 to the power, became 1, divided by 1, you end up with 10x. And here, you've got to take the x squared and add 1 to the power, becomes x cubed, divided by the new power, which is 3. You don't need to put plus c because we have a definite integral here we're subtracting. So we've got here root 5 and 0. So now we have to substitute these values in. So you have 10 times root 5 minus 2 times root 5 cubed over 3. Now root 5 cubed is root 5 times root 5 times root 5, which is 5 root 5. Okay, so this is going to give you 10 root 5 minus 2 times 5 root 5 over 3. Okay, now I'm going to have to add these together because they're different denominators. So let me make this into 30 over 3. So 30 over 3 root 5 minus 10 root 5 over 3. 30 minus 10 is 20, so you end up with 20 root 5 over 3 as your answer. And that is the area of the finite region between them. If you subtract the two equations from each other, you end up with um, an expression. If you integrate it, it will give you the area between them, and that's the, what we found here. Now, there's another method which I mentioned, and that method is as follows, where you can find the area of the whole of this rectangle and take away the area which is below the curve. So if I integrated uh, 2x squared plus 7 with respect to x, what I'm doing is I'm finding the area between the curve and the x-axis. It's like you're taking away this line y equals 0. So it's like 2x plus 7 minus 0. You're finding the area between the curve and the x-axis. Okay, and what we want is this area on top. We don't want the area here. So if you think about this, this is a rectangle. If I find the area of this rectangle and take away the area below the curve, I'll find the, the re required region as well. That's another way of doing it. So the area of the rectangle is 17. This is 17 times, and this length is root 5. So it's 17 root 5 minus this integral between 0 and root 5, these two limits. So if we think about what that gives us, I'm just going to uh, make a line here. This is what I'm going to, I'm just showing you at the end. Really, this, this method is what I would use. And we'd, we finished with the question. I'm just showing you an alternative method. So you're going to have 17 times root 5 minus, and you'll have, this is going to be 2x cubed over 3 plus 7x with the limits of root 5 and 0. Now, so you have 17 times root 5 minus. Now, if you put root 5 in here, you're going to get 2 times root 5 cubed, which is 2 times 5 root 5 over 3 plus, and that's 7 times root 5. If I put 0 into here, it's going to give me 0. So I don't have to, I don't have to do anything more. That's fine. Now I can just simplify what I've got here. That's 17 um, root 5 minus 10 root 5 over 3 plus 7 root 5. That's going to give me um, 17 plus 7. That's going to be 17 plus 7. Is it 7 root 5? Yeah. Uh, 7 root 5. That's going to be 17. Ah, it's going to be minus. Sorry. What am I doing? Sorry about that. Be careful not to do these stupid things. All right, so this is going to give me 17 root 5 minus 7 root 5. See, 17 root 5 minus 7 root 5, which is going to be 10 root 5, and minus this is going to be 10 root 5 over 3, which gives me 30 root 5 over 3 minus 10 root 5 over 3, which is 20 root 5 over 3, which is the same answer that we got over here. So I'm just showing you this other method just to show you that there's different methods we could use but when you've got the area between a line and the curve and it's just simple, there's nothing missing out from it or anything that it's easy for you to just subtract the equations. Keep in mind the one on top um, should be coming first and subtract them and then integrate what you get and that will give you the area between them. If you did by mistake, for example, 2x squared plus 7 minus 17, your answer would come out as negative. It would be negative minus 20 root 5 over 3 and of course, you just write your answer as positive. It doesn't make any difference in terms of uh, your steps. You can just say, okay, as area is positive, it must be a positive answer. Okay, so that's how you can fix it at the end, you could say. 
So there we have the answer to question number four, done in two different ways. Okay, and that's that question done. If you would like to see other questions on the paper, please click on the playlist, which is should appear over here. And if you want to see other questions to do with integration and its applications, area under curves and stuff, click over here. You want to see um, other, you know, um, another paper, um, another P2 paper, you can click over here. Okay, and if you want to subscribe to my channel, click in this area over here. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.